Some old wounds were reopened in Winnipeg today. Crown lawyers were back in court there arguing the latest punishment for disgraced former hockey coach Graham James didn't go far enough. Back in March, James was sentenced to two years in prison for abusing two former players. Now the Crown and his victims are arguing that is not enough. Global National's Ross Lord reports. The question in this chapter of the Graham James saga is how much punishment is enough? James was sentenced in March to two years behind bars for sexually assaulting ex-NHL star Theo Fleury and Fleury's cousin Todd Holt. Prosecutors want the Manitoba Court of Appeal to increase the sentence to six years. The defense argues for a conditional sentence to be served in the community, noting James' previous claim they were loving relationships. But Appeal Court Justice Al McInnes denounces that claim, saying the defense is pushing a big rock up a steep hill if it wants him to believe that leading this analyst to suggest James might be in for more jail time. Well, I thought that that was the pivotal question from the bench. I thought that when Justice McGinnis said, uh, if the st starting point for this type of offense is four to five years, then how do you get to two here? The Crown suggests the trial judge went easy on the disgraced coach because he'd been sentenced in 1997 to three and a half years in prison for sexually assaulting former NHLer Sheldon Kennedy and two others. Another judge on the three-member panel notes James has undergone extensive rehabilitation. But one of James' alleged victims who agreed to a stay of charges to speed up the Flurry and Holt cases doesn't buy it. There are others out there beyond me who we know of. I mean, Graham ruined a lot of lives, and that's what people have to remember. Galuli says hearing the willing participant claims was overwhelming. It was very heartening, and I actually cried a little bit when one of the judges on the panel started saying, well, hang on a second here. How come we're not going to put him in jail for even longer than the Crown is asking for? As for Flurry, he's keeping his expectations in check, stating on his website, the Crown's appeal will result in an inadequate outcome because the justice system is not structured to protect victims of childhood sexual abuse. The appeal court has reserved decision on the appeal. James is already eligible for parole, but reportedly hasn't applied to be released. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.